November 2, Bravo Uniform Echo, N2BUE. BUE, Roger, Roger, what's the name? BUE, Roger, Roger, what's the name? Yes, the name is Ron, Romeo Oscar November. Ron in New Jersey, over. Roger, Roger, Ron up in uh, New Jersey. Uh, gosh, uh, why don't you tell me about that antenna system and uh, let me look around and see if I can find a, a better uh, location for receiving, Roger. Better uh, location for receiving, Roger. Yeah, okay. Okay, yes. Using today. 40 meter all dive poles. And it said the, the P points are 35 feet. And it's in the inverted V configuration. And uh, each end coming down to about 20 foot. Let me see, the total length of the antenna is 66 foot. The long end, I think, is 55. And the short end is 11. Uh, like I said, it's in, at the 35 foot uh, uh, height at the uh, P point, Jim, over. Oh, Roger, Roger. And uh, what radio are you running today, Ron? Uh, what radio are you running today, Ron? Okay, Jim, today I'm, I'm running the Yezu FTEX 101D, and I'm going through the uh, Marathon ALEDB amplifier. Uh, looks like about 350 watts. And so that's, uh, that's the radio day. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, I just uh, brought up my uh, Virginia SDR, and you about blew me away, Roger. Roger, Roger. I'm copying you about S5 and S5. So that's pretty darn good for this time of day out here to the East Coast, Jim. Over. Roger, Roger. And I'm copying you about 20 over on that uh, Virginia SDR, Roger. That's uh, Virginia SDR, Roger. Yeah, okay. Very good. So it's been a while since I've had a contact with you. So I figured I'd jump in here and say hi, at least, and my, you know, the way the conditions have been. I listen every every Friday to your net, but sometimes the conditions that are just not a good copy, so I don't try to even make a contact. But today it's pretty darn good, so I figure I'd give you a shout and see if you hear me, over. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect on that uh, Virginia SDR. Have we uh, tuned that radio up? I just wonder if you uh, uh, make sure that's in the uh, wide transmit bandwidth, TBW, wide 100 to 2900? Wide 100 to 2900? Uh, yeah, Jim, it's, uh, yeah, what, I think, what, 50 to 2900? 100 to 2900? 100 to 2900? Yeah, let me check here. Uh, hold on a second. That's really the uh, best uh, uh, situation for that transmitter, the best resolution. 100 to 2900 gives you just a slice of daylight before you're into somebody else's conversation, Roger. Into somebody else's conversation, Roger. Hey, Roger, Roger. Am I, am I too loud? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. This has to do with uh, uh, frequency response. Uh, the better the resolution for the transmitter, uh, the better the top-end frequency response. So just out of, you know, uh, comparison, if you were into a lesser mode, say uh, 2,500 to uh, 300 to 2,500, uh, you'd be losing a lot of your top-end, a lot of your articulation. So uh, what we're looking for is to get uh, maximum uh, top-end resolution 
information out of that uh, transmitter so you're uh, not only heard but understood that uh, call is uh, about resolution and uh, articulation and those are in the upper realm of uh, the frequency band so we want to maximize the the top end capability of your transmitter and that's why we want the 100 to 2900 tbw roger 2900 tbw roger hey roger jim yeah i just checked i'm at 100 to 2900 that's my uh bandwidth uh tx bandwidth 100 to 2900 over roger just perfect just perfect then uh that uh uh Compressor processor at a three. Uh, you could go higher, but then you start getting pump up between the words. So we suggest a three on that uh, uh, compressor processor. Uh, three out of uh, a ten or thirty out of a uh, hundred, Roger? Ten or thirty out of a uh, hundred, Roger? Hey, Roger, Roger, Jim. So, uh, my, uh, let's see, my processor is at thirty, and I have my mic gain at forty. And I'm looking at my ALC. ALC is about two thirds. And if I shout, I, I I tend to get loud. I'm trying to keep my voice at a certain level. So if I keep my voice right at this level, the ALC is two thirds, and it's showing my compression about five. So uh, that, that that's what I, that's what I'm looking at right now, Jim. Over. Roger, Roger, your dynamic range is about 3 dB, so your average percent of peak modulation is around 80 to 85 percent, so uh, just uh, just perfect, Roger, and your your audio curve is, uh, is very nice, could stand just a touch of uh, top end more, you know, maybe a, a, cl a couple of clicks of a treble EQ boost, Roger? Of a treble EQ boost, Roger? Yeah, hey, Roger, Roger, got you, Jim. Well, on this radio, uh, you know, with the e I got the EQ on, and it it's a lot of, uh, you know, trying to get it set. And also, they throw something else in on this radio here, that AMC, automa automatic mic control, and that's kind of like a fuzzy area also. Uh, where to set it. So I got mine set right now at 70 because ha the higher, the less it affects it, the lower the number, the more it affects it. So uh, this is a new radio and I'm still experimenting with it. And the mic EQ is, uh, I'm, I'm still phonetic all in with the uh, mic EQ, Jim, over. Roger, Roger. I'll tell you what, if, maybe if you were uh, pulled back off mic uh, uh, another uh, two inches, maybe uh, from where you are. Let me hear that and see what that does to the top end. Let me hear that and see what that does to the top end. Oh, okay, Jim. Yeah, I did. I back back off. I'm about, let's see, I'm about four inches away from the mic. I was up closer to two inches prior when I was talking. Yeah, backed off about four inches now, over. Roger, I would do that because it does a couple of things. Uh, I think you might have uh, been close on your, uh, uh, you know, your EQ that way because, uh, you know, we're talking about uh, bass buildup. The closer you get to your microphone, so when you pull back away, you kind of dropped off a little bit of that bass, and uh, it uh, really helps your uh, your articulation, Roger. Your, uh, your articulation, Roger. Hey, Roger, Roger. Okay, Jim. I even backed off a little farther now. I'm about six inches away from the, from the microphone. And my ALC is just over 50%. Um, you know, I do see a difference with the ALC and even the compression level. So hopefully uh, I tend to get up on the mic you know, real close. And as I talk, I start, my voice starts to get loud. So hopefully this, this helps somewhat. Uh, like I say, I'm still um, 
experimenting with the uh, EQ settings on this radio, so uh, it, it's, a, it's difficult to get set up, but uh, I'm working at it. Oh, Roger, Roger, Ron. Well, I would say, uh, you know, just keep your ALC out, because I think you're right on target there at uh, two-thirds on your ALC. So just keep your uh, ALC meter out and uh, be looking at that as you're chatting to folks around the world. And uh, you'll be able to, after a while, develop a relationship with your ALC meter and be able to keep it right in that sweet spot uh, just by your voice. Roger? But, uh, just by your voice. Roger? Hey, Roger, Roger, Jim. Yeah, okay, very good. Well, thank you. Thank you for the information. And uh, and coming back, I'm glad we had a copy today. It's been quite a while, uh, probably over a year, almost close to a year since I've uh, had a contact with you. Uh, probably around this year, this time. So, uh, yeah, very good. All right, I'll turn it back to you and let you make a... Uh, Give someone else a check. So I thank you very much. 73. And you take care out there in your neck of the woods. And hopefully uh, I'll catch up with you again. KC9 BKV N2 BUE. Have a good evening, Jim. Roger, Roger, Ron. Now, what was the radio that you had before the uh, uh, 101? The uh, uh, 101. Oh, yes, it was the FTDX-10. <laughs> I've had a couple of radios. I had a 7300, which I still have. I had the FTDX-10, and now I'm, I'm uh, using this FTDX-101D, over. Roger, and so you're you're preferring the 101D and as opposed to the DX-10? Uh, as opposed to the DX-10? What was that, Jim? I didn't catch it. Roger, you're preferring that 101 as opposed to the uh, uh, DX10? As opposed to the uh, uh, DX10? Now, I'm still, I'm having a static crash, and every time you ask that question, I get a static crash. I ask it again. <laughs> Roger, Ron. I was just curious if you like that 101 better than the uh, uh, DX10. One better than the uh, uh, DX10. Oh, okay. Got it that time. 100%. I'll tell you the truth, Jim. The DX10 is a very good radio. I like it a lot. The only difference is the size. <laughs> I'll tell you. The 101 is a very a, a big uh, radio, so it's nice sitting there, and it's a little more, uh, not as compact. But to compare the two, and I still use the, the, you know, the, the, the 10, uh, and I generally use that in the morning, and, and I'm, I got that set, set up down in the basement. And uh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough question. I like the 10, and if it's worth the price difference between the 10 and the 101 for the type of operating I do, I would say no. The, ton, the 10 would do everything I wanted to do is receive. It's you know, just about as good as the, this 101. But anyway... I just got it in my crawl to get the 101, and I figure, hey, let's, let's do it and check it out. But they're both comparable. The only difference is the size of the radio. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, it just sounds beautiful. I just went around the horn on my uh, SDRs, uh, and uh, I'm copying you best on my uh, uh, Virginia SDR, just uh, like about uh, 15 over. So it really sounds good, Ron. Uh, I think uh, whatever you run up there sounds good, Roger. Whatever you run up there sounds good, Roger. Hey, Roger, Roger, Jim. Yeah. You know, as I get older and I uh, get to certain stage in my life, I figure, you know, I, I hear a whole lot about these different radios, and, uh, and I figure I'd like to check them out. But anyhow, 
Very good. 73. And I'll talk to you later on. KC9 VKV. There I am. I'm getting up close to the mic again. I've got to back off. N2 BUE. Roger, Ron, well, you sound good up close to the mic, too. I mean, uh, you know, just uh, wherever you are, you sound good. Don't worry about it. It sounds good. And if you want to hear it, if you go to YouTube and do that call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, it'll bring up uh, this recording. And uh, this will be cut number one in a series of uh, 3200. And I'll have it uh, uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Roger? Uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Roger? Hey, Roger, Roger, Jim. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll definitely check it out. Always enjoy hearing myself. So keep up the good work. I'm good hearing you. And like I could say, you got a good signal coming into the East Coast this afternoon. Uh, conditions are very good. KC9 VKV into BUE 73, Jim. Have a very good evening. Roger, Roger, Ron. Likewise, sir. You have a real nice uh, evening. Uh, and a pleasant uh, weekend. This is uh, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlognet. Uh, and if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.